you probably already heard Google just dropped Gemini 3, the last big model that we were expecting for this year, unless there are some surprises that's coming out. But part of that release was also Google Anti-Gravity. I'm really excited to download Google Anti-Gravity, give it a go, try it out. And of course, the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install the Postman VS Code extension. I'm really excited to announce that the VS Code extension works great, fantastic, right with inside Anti-Gravity. So let's give it a go. All I have to do is sign into Postman to connect my workspace, or if you don't have one already, create a free one. Once I'm authenticated, I have access to all of my workspaces. So in this instance, I'm in our developer relations workspace and looking at the cloud infrastructure resources, which is some demo applications and services that use APIs and endpoints from AWS. As I would expect, I have access to things such as my collections that we saw before and my environment variables global keys, etc. So everything is looking good, feeling really familiar. I'm really digging this kind of slick interface on site anti-gravity. Yes, it's a port of VS Code, but the styling looks pretty nice right now. Now that I have the Postman VS Code extension installed, generally the next thing I do is add the Postman MCP service. So anti-gravity is a fork off VS Code. So it, everything works pretty well the same as usual. In this instance, the configuration for the MCP JSON lives in this Gemini anti-gravity directory in your home folder. But we can also add an MCP service via the UI. So I'm just going to do that. Click on MCP servers, manage MCP server, view the raw config to look at the MCP JSON and paste this snippet in here. A few things to note. We're using the minimal version of the Postman MCP. Anti-gravity has a limit of 100 tools. Our full MCP service has 108, so you need to use the minimal inside here. And then the very last thing that you want to do is add in your API key. Also, if you are in the EU, you want to do mcp.eu.postman. But I'm in the US, so I'm going to get rid of that for right now. Add in your API key, save that. Then just hit refresh to let it start up your service. And there we go, we have the Postman MCP server running right with inside anti-gravity. I'm really looking forward to trying this tool out. I want to see what Gemini 3 as a model use and what better place to do it with Postman and anti-gravity.